hello from Omaha, Nebraska. And on our way home from our big Nebraska summer trip, we decided to break things up a little bit and spend a day here in Omaha. Yep, we're going to check out some fun foodie things because when we were in Northwest Nebraska, we were in the boonies and there were no fun foodie things to do. So we're gonna try to find some good artisan ice cream, maybe a dog friendly restaurant. And we are gonna check out a super cool bridge with the best name ever. Bob, Bob. Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so come along. So the bridge connects Omaha, Nebraska and Council Bluffs, Iowa. It is 3,000 feet long. It's one of the longest pedestrian bridges in the country. And it was opened in 2008. One of the things we love to find when we are visiting places is a spot that has great trails. And this bridge happens to connect over 150 miles of trails that are dedicated for biking and for walking. One of the cool things about the bridge is that at a certain point, you can be in both Iowa and Nebraska at the same time, and they call that bobbing on the bridge. The Omaha side certainly has more of the urban feel, but once you cross over to the Council Bluffs, Iowa side, you have a beautiful park-like setting. You have an amphitheater. You can see the Missouri River behind you and using Omaha as the backdrop. All great bridges have to have a troll underneath them, right? Well, this one does. So we're off to go find Omar. Okay, we found Omar. And you can read a little more about Omar by going to omarthetroll.com. If you know me at all, when we travel, I always want to find homemade artisan ice cream places because we don't have that in the town where we live. And we are trying a great place here in Omaha called the Coneflower Creamery. Their little subtitle is Farm to Cone because they try to go out and find local ingredients to use in their ice cream. They have some traditional classics that they always have on hand, of course, like chocolates and vanillas and things like that and then they have some seasonal flavors. So I got two things to try today. I have the, I think it's called a chart, no, let's try that again, tart cherry. And then I also got the butter brickle because butter brickle ice cream was actually introduced here in Omaha at the Blackstone Hotel. So I'm gonna dive in and I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. It looks great. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. So this is my cherry one. And I'll have to let you know later how the butter brickle is because it's down at the bottom. Okay, I've got the butter brickle. Uh, the small has two different flavors and so we had that cherry on top and now we have the butter brickle on the bottom. So here we go, it looks amazing. Oh yeah, I love the kind of that toffee flavor and it's super sweet and of course very creamy and cold and sweet. Oh my goodness, I love the toffee uh, aftertaste. Good stuff. Well, Coneflower Creamery was a big success. Yes, and now we're gonna head to the next place for more foodie fun in downtown Omaha. Let's go. Ice cream at home 
Flower. We headed down to the Old Market area, I think is what this is called. That's right. We're at the Old Spaghetti Works and we had a nice uh, spot on the patio where we could bring the dogs and our food just came. Looks pretty awesome. Yeah, this is a really cool area of Omaha. So if you get a chance, make sure you come downtown and check out this area with the cool old cobblestone brick streets. Really neat. for today in downtown Omaha is at Ted and Wally's Creamery. It's another place that focuses on local ingredients, made homemade, they change out their flavors all the time, and they have all kinds of funky flavors, and I went for the most exotic vanilla bean. <laughs> I got some kind of mint peanut butter cup, and yes, this is the second time we've gone out for ice cream in one day. Is that a record for us? Have we done that before? Knowing two, me, probably. Two ice cream places in one day. So, anyway, cheers. Here we go. It's Pretty really, good. It's really good vanilla. It's basic, but awesome. I Kinda love like vanilla. Kind of like us. I love vanilla. <laughs> it's good. We hope you enjoyed our look at downtown Omaha. This has been the coolest little city to come visit. There are so many wonderful foodie things to do downtown. There are the incredible parks, including the cool Bob Bridge. And then we continued on down the Riverfront Park where we found a dog park. We found fountains you can splash in, <laughs> the coolest slides you can go down. And the roll down hill. Yes, oh, <laughs> without ticks and itchy grass. That was kind of cool and big swings, and you can tell that they're getting ready to set up for concerts and things. On ahead with the water and the baby ducks. It's just, it's just, just the neatest place. So and I'm then so we glad had, we came to, uh, down and explored this. We had ice cream and food and then ice cream. Yes. So, <laughs> all can't, great. Can't go wrong. Well, get out and enjoy exploring a city near you because today is an adventure day. Hey.